uh, like Bill W. with AA, uh, I was I, I was a man that battered my wife and very violent in the first 40 years of my life. And uh, I spent between 20 and 30,000 on the best therapy I could find in the nation, and I couldn't get well. I uh, My father was a minister in a mainline denomination. I went to 35 ministers who were qualified as counselors, and not a soul could touch me. They had no idea what was wrong. Wow. Dr. Hagstrom, please describe to us the types of woundings that create this kind of a hopeless situation. There are five types of wounds that literally freeze the brain, and it's called fixation in, in uh, secular mental health. And that's heavy rejection in the original family, incest, which is inappropriate sexual behavior between family members, molestation, which comes from outside the family, but it's interesting because 80% of all molestations are done by a friend of the family. Then emotional abuse and physical abuse. And, and that's in the order of severity. So even rejection in the original family is, is much greater than in severity than sexual abuse, emotional and physical abuse because it is so subtle. It's just unbelievably how subtle it is. And, and when we understand these dynamics, uh, they're fixable. Doctor, please explain to us arrested development and the brain chemistry that goes along with it. When the, when the brain freezes or, or fixates or arrests in development, then the brain cannot, without help and without truth and without knowledge, the brain can't tie the wound to today's behavior. And so how we bring down the strongholds is to understand our timeline and speak and tell our limbic system, which stores all of our information, when this happened, and I'm reacting to something that happened 40 years ago. But I've been reacting for 40 years if I'm 40 years of age. So what happens is because we have not got the chemicals to be a decision maker, the thalamus makes the decision for us and breaks the glass and pulls the lever. That activates the adrenal glands that are on top of the kidneys. And that's the basis of PTSD. It's the basis of ADD, ADHD, and many, many diagnostics in the, in the DSM-4 diagnostic manual. And the government in the armed services plays off of that to be able at their command to activate your adrenaline. And what happens then is if you're already activated and living on it, then it surges and you go out of your mind like this man that, that supposedly shot, you know, eight, nine kids and 16, 17 people and, and doesn't even have memory of it because he's already living on adrenaline and then he got another surge. The adrenaline is so strong, it is the strongest chemical in the body because you've got to delete the adrenaline for the brain chemicals to be able to come and work within your system. That's why we do the things that we do when we know better because the adrenaline will override the regular chemicals till you die. Or we can put your life together and show you why you're on adrenaline and that it was not your fault. It was a wound before the age of puberty when you didn't have chemicals and it all has a reason, not an excuse, but always there's a reason. You're not defective. You're not flawed. You're not weird. You can never medicate a person to get rid of adrenaline. You make sense of their craziness. Isn't that something? And we don't, we don't even understand how that works but it works because they had never moved to the age of decision. They wanted what they wanted, but they were afraid. They felt like they were the one that, that it's good for everybody else, but not for me. And that's what wounds of childhood do to, to adults. 